What has changed about you since the last time we talked? You hear me? What has changed about you since the last time you came through and sat with me in a video? It could be yesterday. It could be two weeks ago. It could be last month. It could be six months ago. You know, especially if you peekaboo and pass by, if you don't stay consistent. You know, what has changed about you since the last time we had a dialogue, since we had a conversation? You hear me? And I'm glad that you I'm glad that you made it back through. <clears throat> if you're one of the ones that I'm talking to, a peekaboo and pass by. You know, I'm glad that you made it back through. I hope you feeling good for no reason at all. <clears throat> you know, and most of all, Salute to the Cosmic Consciousness family and soul tribe. I hope y'all feeling good for no reason at all. Radiant, operating, emanating, being the highest vibration in the best version of ourselves. Stillness, abundance, love, and light. Stillness, abundance, love, and light. Stillness, abund abundance, love, and light. Health and wholeness. You hear me? What has changed about us since the last time we had a talk? What has changed that you felt? What, what changes have been made that you felt you need to make? because you don't want to be be one of the ones making the decisions, continuing to make your decisions based on external realities, based on external expectations, so forth, so forth, and so on, based on people, places, or things, anything external to you. What has changed about you? <laughs> That's something to think about. Because we as a people, get so used to being what we used to that our biggest challenges, our biggest challenge is the challenge to change. You know? Our biggest challenge is the challenge to change. And when it comes to change, that's where some get stuck at and choose to stay the same. You know? And it's easy to stay the same than to be willing to make some change, to make a conscious decision to change, to see, to see a need for change. You hear me? Why is change so important to Saul? Why is change so important to me? Because the next generation watching. <laughs> it's our time now. If you're an adult, it's, it's, it's your time now but the next generation is watching how is how is how we living being an example to them how is how we expressing ourselves being an example for them how is how we behaving being an example for them how is how we moving, being an example to them, the next generation? <laughs> what is our life? What, if, what, what is our life saying to those that's coming after us? <laughs> well, if I be honest, I'm not pleased with what I see from the examples. I'm not pleased with the examples that I have been. So I did something different with my life <laughs> before my life expired. So what are what type of examples are we setting? You know? Are 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 we are, are we in a place of life where we're repeating the same things that we seen, the same things that was upsetting to us, the same things was disappointing to us, the same things that was hurting to us, the, the same things that was toxic to us, the same things that was dis dysfunctional to us. Are we repeating those same things? Are we making a difference from the things that we've seen so that cycle can stop repeating itself? You know, listen, you're gonna mention. The next generation watching us, what are they learning from us? What are they learning from what they see? <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm not pleased with the examples that I see. You hear me? So, how can you be? Whoever you are, how can you be? How can you be pleased with the examples that you see? 
either from the examples that have been made for you as well as the examples that you set. How can you be pleased? <laughs> so I take pleasure in the opportunity of these videos to share insights and perspectives to speak to uncomfortable truths, or uncomfortable things that we live through, or uncomfortable things that we experience. Somebody experiences some uncomfortability right now, somewhere, and probably need to hear something that I say in 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 the uh, duration of this message, you know. So I take honor and and and, and having life force moving through me, you know, in the days that I that 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 I have had for life force to move through me, you know, to do something different than I have done previously, you know. But these uncomfortable truths provoke us to look at our ways, look at ourselves in ways that, you know, we wouldn't without these uncomfortable conversations. You know, look at our ways in ways that we're not used to. You know, and I get it. <laughs> I get it. Because we all got to start from somewhere. And no matter where we start at, you got to start with you. I had to do the same thing. Yeah, see, <laughs> ain't no exclusions, and it ain't no excuses. It's only two kind of people on the, on the planet: those who are doing the work, and those who are not. You know, it really ain't got nothing to do with good or bad. Those are just uh, uh, polarities, polarities of or rate of vibration. Good or bad is just polarities. Or, do, or the duality to a rate of vibration, you know, that will determine frequency. But we gotta start with where we at, you know. And as I said, I had to start with me too. There are no exclusions and there are no excuses. You're in human form. <laughs> you, 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 you part of the purpose, even if you don't know what the purpose is, you hear me? But whatever it is, whatever it is, it is that your experiences, whatever it is that our experiences has determined for us to dictate the laws that we will live by, that's your truth, you know? That's your truth. So our intention is important. Our attention, our intention is important. I said it for a reason if I said it. Our intention is important, but I meant to say our attention is important. And both of them are. <laughs> they, they synonymous to one another. They connect. Our attention is important. And our attention is required in so many places concerning our lives. But it's all the places that require our attention concerning our life worth giving our attention to. See, and, and that's the point that we got to come to. And all the aspects of our life. And I say that because if, it's, if it don't work for you, and listen closely, if it do not work for you, it ain't working for you. <laughs> See, we don't got too used to being used to what we're used to, and a lot of what we're used to ain't even beneficial for us. It don't work for us. And if it don't work for you, it ain't working for you. And anything not working for you, y'all know what it is. It's working against you. You see, whether it's a belief, whether it's a thought, whether it's a feeling, <laughs> whether it's a, a word, whether it's the words that 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 we use to speak to each other or or, or speak over one another. And one thing about me, I ain't, I, ain't, I, I I'm a very keen listener, you know, to the point that if you say something that don't stand in alignment with and and where I stand at with myself, I'm going to correct you about that. You see, we got to be able to listen because a lot of times, you know, people people can only speak the life o o over your life that they speak over their own. <laughs> you hear me? People can only speak the life over your life that they are able to speak over their own. So you're going to have to learn how to listen, you know? Everything that sounds good ain't, ain't, ain't good for us. If it don't work for you, it ain't working for you, you know. 
that these are the things that affect our vibration due to misuse of energy, due to misuse of attention, due to misuse of intention, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if it ain't working for you, it's working against you, you know? I had to learn these things too, these uncomfortable truths, you know? And the more I accepted them, you know, the better, the better I was, you know? I'm all about change because the next generation watching, you know? I'm the person I am because of what I have had to overcome. Not necessarily what I've been through. See, see, because we can get we we want to be careful uh, when we share our story, how we share our story, so we so we sound more like uh, the victor than the victim, you know. So I was I was very uh, meticulous in the way I just said what I said. I'm the person that I am because of what I have had to overcome. What we what we've been through. Fuck what I've been through. <laughs> it's what I overcame that made me this person. You hear me? Somebody gonna catch that. It's what you overcame that make you you. <laughs> as an individual, as part of the collective, and as a life stream. You hear me? Experiences. Our experiences gonna give us the ability to be seasoned veterans. You hear me? Seasoned veterans. You know, our experiences is, is, is gonna give us the ability to move from heaven or to, to move into heaven from a state of hell. Cause we already here. <laughs> we already in here. And so if we already in hell, what we gonna do with the time that we got while we here? You hear me? Cause you gotta do it while you here. <laughs> you gotta do it. I repeat, you gotta do it while you here. Can't expect to see heaven <laughs> after this if you ain't made heaven while you here. In case you, for those in the back that didn't catch it the way I said it the first time, you know. So what I speak, I be in awareness of a lot of things, you know, uh, beyond what the physical senses can't perceive, you know? And I make a, I make a, a point to remain aware and, and, be, and be attentive of how I move, things I say, you know? It's vibrational effect on others, it's energetic, energetic effect on others, you know? People energetic effect on me or none at all, you know? I keep myself in a in a place that I that I need to be to the point that little if anything you know can affect me in a way that I don't intend to be affected or infected if you don't listen you're gonna miss it you know yeah we lead by the examples of our lives rather rather we choose to be uh an example or not you know yeah, and I lead by the examples of my life. I lead by the examples that I learned from your life. I learn. I, I lead by the examples that I learned not only from my life and your life, but them, they, and the others. You hear me? You know? Yeah. I said that to say we all some kind of example to somebody by default. You know? But in awareness, you can customize your settings. <laughs> in awareness, you can cust customize your settings, you know. You know what? To further explain what I mean by that is to use this analogy, you know. Uh, of you having a, uh, you coming across somebody you ain't seen in a minute and you ask them, what they've been up to, and their first response is, "Man, I can't call it." You know, I had a few, I had a few of those people in my life that I know, you know, and they use that term, and I, and my response be, "If you ain't calling it, what's calling it for you? Because if you're not calling it, something else calling it for you, you know." And a lot.
lot of times we'll just say things because it's popular, it's trending, you know, but that's one of those things that regardless of how popular or trending it, or it's a known saying that it may be, it ain't healthy to be saying. Because if you're not in control of yourself, you you are you by default have gave something else control over you. What it, regardless of who, what, or where it may be. Customize your settings. <laughs> Customize your settings. Do knowledge yourself. I ain't come to keep y'all a long time because it don't it, it don't take a, a long time to do a whole lot. You hear me? Feel good for no reason at all. Regardless of what I say, it's really about all. It's, it's, it's really all about uh, the rate of vibration that you can hold to be in the highest frequency possible to to, to attract and gravitate to you what it is that you desire. It really ain't. It really don't get no bigger than that. You know, everything else is just a description. You know, I love y'all. Thanks for the likes, shares, comments, questions, donations, purchases, so forth and so on. My name is Saul. Peace till we do it again.